Let's now tackle this logarithm problem from the AMC 12A. What is the product of all solutions to this equation? So if you watch my logarithms video, you know the first step is when you have different bases, you want to use change of base formula because working with these bases is not easy. Okay, so let's do that right away. What we're going to do is we're going to be like log of 2023 over log of 7x, right? And again, we can choose any base we want there. Log of 2023 over log of 289x and this is equal to log of 2023 over log of 2023x and the thing is again we can pick whatever base we want over here it can be anything we want so what is a good base choice I mean, you really can choose anything you'd like. And ideally, we want to stay consistent because if you take like 77 here and 17 here, we don't want to have to deal with log 17x and log 7 of x. So just for sake, let's just pick 17. Another good choice would be 7 because that would also make things nice. But I'll just pick 17 because I think it's a little bit easier. But 7 is also good. Okay, so what happens when you take 17? Well, first of all, you can immediately see you can cancel one of those terms, right? And next, we can be, okay, log 17, 2023. But remember, 2023, you should know the prime factorization of this. You have to. 2023 is 7 times 17 squared. So we can just break this up like this. But now we use our handy log rules. So log of 17 of 7 plus log of 17 of 17 squared, which is just 2. 2. So now we have 2 plus log 17 of 7 over log 17 of 7x, which is just log 17 of 7 plus log 17 of x. So we, let's just write it log 17x plus log 17, 7. So we have, this is, you know what, you know, what, I'm actually uh, going to write this in a little bit of a different way this equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write log 17 of 7x and log 17 over 289x, their product, divided by this equals log 17 of 2023. It's the same thing, right? I think it's just going to be a little bit easier to work in this way. Let's see. So log 17 of 7x is just log 17 of 7 and then plus log 17 of x and then this thingy times log 17 of 289x which is just 2 plus log 17 of x, and all of this, their product is equal to, well, we can move, right, we have this and this on, on top here, and then we can move this to the other side, because we don't want to deal with denominators, and therefore we get log 17 of 2023, I'm just not going to break it up, you'll see why in a moment, plus log 17, 2023x, but, or times, sorry, times log 17, 2023x, which is just, you can break it up log 17, 2023, plus log 17 of x. So now, what, let's try and expand that first term over there. So this top part, let's expand it. We get log 17 of 49, right? Because 2 times that, so we square the inside, plus log 17x times log 17 of 7, but we also multiply it by 2, right? We have 2 times log 17x and log 17x times this. So now here's kind of like the, the nice little trick here. This thingy, this 2, is nothing but log 17 of 289. And then log 17 of 289 plus log 17 of 7 is just log 17 of 2023. So we can just say and cancel that all out and be like, okay, this is log 17 of 2023. And that's really the main idea in this problem. That nice little substitution there. Why do we want to do that? It's because we got log 17, 2023 is on this side. And then finally, our last term, which we have to include in our expansion, of course, is log 17 of x squared. Cool. 
And so from here, what are we trying to solve for? We're trying to find the product of the solutions of x. Imagine, but here, look, take a look. We don't really have any x itself. We always have log 17x. So if we're trying to find the product of all the solutions, it's a very common trick. What if we just take log 7 of 17 of that product? Because we're dealing with log 17 of x in all our instances. This is just log 17x plus log 17y, etc., and plus log 17z. So the idea is, is rather than finding the product of the solutions, we're going to find the sum of the solutions to log 17 of x. And we can do that using our handy Vietas formulas. So we for, so you know what? Let's just call log 17 of x. I don't want to write the same thing over and over again. So let's just call it y, right? We got y squared plus y times log 17 of 2023 plus some constant. But take a look here. To find the sum of the solutions to y, we only care about these two terms. We don't care about constants. So I'm just going to completely ignore constants for now. They're banned. We don't care about them. So log 17 of 2023 times log 17 2023, constant, don't care. And then we have here log 17 2023 times log 17x, oh, which is just y, right? We, we said that was y earlier. And now we subtract that same thing from both sides. We get that y squared. There's some quadratic and y. There's zero y coefficients because we deal. And then there's some constants we didn't really bother calculating. There wasn't really a point. But from this, we see with Vieras, the sum of the solutions is zero, or negative zero, which is just zero. And if the sum of the solutions is zero, basically that means this whole sum is just equal to zero. I don't know how many, however many roots there are, it doesn't matter. Like x, three roots are just arbitrary here. It could be one, it could be two, it could be three, it could be four. The sum of all the log 17s of the roots is zero, which actually in this case there are two because it's a quadratic. And then now we just take seven to the power of both sides to find the product of these roots itself, not the log 17 roots. So we get x, y, z, is 17 to the 0, which is just 1. So they gave all these random answer choices log 2023 of 7 times log 2023 of 289, and the answer is just 1. This is funny answer choices that they have provided here. But it's still a great problem where the key idea is use change of base and then you pick your basis wisely. And then after that, you just a little bit of algebra and expanding, and then a cool trick at the end where we combine it into this. And then we're like, oh, screw constants, we can just. We only care about the y and y squared terms for Vietas. And that's it for this problem.